Hello and welcome to this video from CryptoML. Today I'd like to talk about our trading bot ROI calculator. And what this is for is anyone who's a trader, this gives you a chance to look at the different numbers that impact your trading business and lets you analyze what changes in those um, may result in. And some of the outcome is pretty surprising. So we'll go over how to use this calculator, um, how we can use it to answer one of the common questions we get. And then I think two pretty surprising outcomes that are a result of changing a few of these values. So let's dive on in. All right, this calculator input section is right up here on the top. And then below that, you're going to see the results broken out year one, year two, and year three. So how these move forward. The main thing to look for is this ending balance. <clears throat> but you also get a sense of your actual costs and you know the income and expense side of things to see how this all pans out as you make changes. All right, so let's get started here. Right up top, I'm going to run through the different fields. We have the trading balance to start. This is the amount you will have in your trading account, and it is assumed that you use that full amount on each trade, and any gain you have is added to that, and you continue to trade a larger and larger amount, and so that's how you see some escalating gains as you go. Uh, clear that off a little bit. Next field is the average quantity of trades per month. So whatever trading system you use, how many trades do you expect to get out of it? And what you're going to find is this number has huge implications on your results. Um, and I should note that this is for a full cycle. So one trade is a buy order and a sell order. So you're making that full round trip. Um, the default of three here comes from CryptoML's 2018 average count. So that's a default, but of course you can change it to whatever you want. Next up, we have the monthly fee section. So this would be if you're paying for a strategy or you're paying for execution, which would be your trading bot. How, is, how are your you know, trades automatically being entered on your exchange? That's what this fee is designed for. The placeholder there, the $29 per month, that is the price of CryptoML's auto trade membership. So that's the default, but you can, of course, change that to whatever whatever you're using. And if you're just entering your own trades, using your own trade strategy, then you can put a zero there as well. All right. Next up is the exchange fee per side. This is currently defaulted to Binance's base fee. And that 0.1% that is charged on both the buy and the sell. So that's going to be twice for every trade up there. All right, and then last up, you have the annual expected return. Um, of course, this is going to vary for everybody, and you may want to be conservative um, or probably run a few different options, which would be a low expected and then a high, and you can see how your numbers shake out in all those different situations. The default, this 92%, that's based on the 2018 crypto ML BTC performance, and let me show you what I mean real quick there before we move on. So. If we pop over to our trade history page and you scroll down, we post all of our trades publicly so that you can see the results. And what we're looking at here is 2018 for Bitcoin. There's that 92%. And you remember I said three trades per month on average. That's what this is here. Looking at that, 35 is about three trades per month. <clears throat> okay. And of course, this 92%, this is going to go for anybody. You always see past performance is not an indicator of future performance. So that's be careful with this number and any number. And you can see in 29, so or sorry, 2019 so far, um, we have not finished out the year yet. We do have a couple open trades, but it is a lower value. And as soon as 2019 does close out, we will update the defaults in this ROA calculator to match those so that it's a better representative of our current performance. Okay, so let's dive on in. That's the overview. You hit punch those numbers in and it'll change these right on the fly so you don't have to refresh the page or anything like that. It's pretty easy to mess with the numbers and see how things shake out. So the first question we get um, from new and prospective customers is how much do I need to trade? And what they're thinking about is I'm paying this 29 per month. So how much do I really need in my account to overcome that value and make money at the same time? So that is what this is designed to answer for us. So let's look at a few scenarios. Um, and first I should say, calculator is a helpful tool. Um, 
but we are never going to tell you how much you should trade and you shouldn't rely just on a calculator or anybody else in particular. This is a very personal um, value you need to choose here. And basically that needs to be an amount you're willing to lose because trading is a high risk endeavor. Um, it can be very rewarding, but it's very easy to also lose your money quickly. So whatever you put here, whether it's $2 million, 200,000, 2000, everybody is comfortable with a different amount and you know, you need to take that into consideration. So let's look at a few different options. So if we lower this amount, <clears throat> let's say you want to try trading 2000 and we assume the rest of this stays constant, then we can come down here and we can see at the end of year one, we should expect to be at about 3,200. Come on down and we're nearing 10,000 by the end of year three after expenses. So, um, with $2,000, you can actually be quite successful with this set of numbers here. Now, what you'd want to do, of course, is come down and try some lower annual expected return and maybe some higher and just see how that works out. But let's try a different value here. So let's let's say 200. Let's say you don't, you just starting out, you're really not sure about how to do all this and you're not willing to risk very much. So you choose 200. Here we see a very different result. So now you have actually lost money in year one and you've turned your $200 into $15, which is not the direction we want to go. Come down further by the end of year three, you know, you've lost almost $1,000. So this is not going to be an effective amount to use. All right, let me scroll back up. <clears throat> and how this works is your flat cost is the monthly fee. So as long as you overcome that, you know, things are going to be good. And um, the more you trade, eventually this this doesn't really matter. But that's, I think, you know, messing with this number is one of the first things you can do. And again, one of the common questions we have. Um, but you're really playing against fixed costs when you look at this number. So where we have some, I think, really surprising results from this calculator is when you look at the non-fixed costs. And those come from two places. One is the exchange fee. And then the other is the quantity of trades per month, which is really just, you know, something that feeds into this exchange fee. So let's start with the exchange fee. And I think you'd be pretty surprised what the impact is here. So let's keep all these at default, assume the $20,000. So in case we didn't show up before, that grows to 117000 at the end of year three with these assumptions. Now let's come up here. And I should say this exchange fee, let me show you where we're getting that. If I come over to Binance's fee schedule, we have the 0.1% fee right there. Now, how this works is the more you trade, the lower your fee goes, but it doesn't drop dramatically um, until you get the pretty high volume. And how the volume works is it looks at a 30-day trade volume. So if you trade you know, a $10,000 balance and you have five trades in a month, you're really trading $50,000 in volume and you're going to start to move down, down this way. So a lot of people actually do get a lower fee, but let's just assume the 0.1%. If we look over at Coinbase, they have the exact same thing. Again, this is based on your 30-day volume, but the base one is 0.5%. So it's five times as much as Binance and it goes down. So, you know, a lot of our traders are going to be somewhere here but let's just assume the 0.5%. So if we come back and enter the, that here, if you remember the bottom value was 117,000. Now that's dropped down to 52, you know, about 53,000. So you're leaving about 55% of the profits on the table just with that minor change in fee. It doesn't seem like a lot. It seems like less than a percent should be okay, but I mean, it really something how that how that propagates and um you know affects your long term long term profits so you can imagine if that went out over four or five years i mean you're really paying a lot in those fees all right so let's set this back to the 0.1 percent so that was one interesting finding it's it's shocking to see how much those fees really add up to the other thing i'd like to talk about is the quantity of trades per month so 
our trading system, the average was about three for 2018. That's a swing trading sort of parameter. It's not a lot of trades. And I think, you know, another thing that our customers, when they first come on, they're expecting many more trades, even though we have it on our trade history. It's pretty common for people to think they should be getting a lot more trades. Um, and in fact, I think a lot of people, when they think of professional traders, they think of someone who's sitting in front of a computer making many, many trades per day, and you're kind of scalping these small amounts. And while that does exist, um, you'll see that that might not be always the best way to go. And I should also say this, this is not a parameter. We did not put any limits on our machine learning systems when we said, go find a good solution to this problem. So we didn't say it had to be swing trading. We didn't say you know, anything about the trade quantity. So the fact that it landed here means it found a really good solution at this quantity. Um, we have tried some scenarios where we said, you know, we want at least this many trades per month and it wasn't able to get quite as good results. And then you add the fees on top of it and it just becomes a no brainer to shoot for this more swing trading sw swing trading window. So let's look at how the numbers actually pan out. Maybe instead of three trades, we're gonna say 20. That would be, let's say one per business day seems pretty normal, but as a day trader, you probably have more than that. I think you're gonna be hard pressed to beat this. So let's just assume that stays the same, but we're now instead of three trades a month, we're doing 20. So let's come down <laughs> and here, instead of 117,000, you have 35,000. So that's a massive difference. I think that's like 70% of the money, you know, you're, you're saying goodbye to just because you have a high volume of trades. So that is pretty surprising. <clears throat> and then we could bring this all together and say, and the reality, by the way, is you would definitely, if you're doing 20 trades per month, you would have a lower exchange fee. Um, but let's say, let's say we're at the 0.5% Coinbase. Now you're at negative 80,000. So you've actually, instead of having $117,000 profit, $117,000 profit, you're now at a negative 80,000. But let's make this a little more realistic. Let's say it's somewhere around, we need to check the math, but 0.2 still, I mean, you've turned your 20,000 into $2,000. So that is not a great situation. So the point here with all of this is you need to be extremely cautious with the quantity of trades you make and the fees you're paying for those trades. That's what matters more than anything. We have here a fixed cost. Here, this is a great thing to play with. This number here, very important. We need to bracket it. This is, of course, going to be an estimate. You can use past performance as a guide, but it's not going to be perfect. So we want to say, you know, this is like best, best case, you know, maybe we're at, let's say we're at 95%, you know, average or expected. You could say you're at something like 50%. And then a worst case, you could be at something like a 25% or whatever you want to put for those values. Those are values you need to choose on your own, but you can bracket different things and see how your money actually pans out there. But again, so, so shocking how much these two can influence your overall results. All right, so I think that's it. I'm going to drop these back to, to where they're happy. I like seeing that 117,000 at the end. And as a final note, let's uh, head on over on our homepage. If you're not yet a CryptoML member, we have some great machine learning tools for crypto traders and investors. You can get a free account. And in fact, if I uh, click on that here, we'll slide on down to the bottom. With the free account, you do get some market insights, our market index, a trade meter, daily updates, no credit card needed, truly free. If you want to get our trade alerts, you hop over to the trader at $19 a month and it is free for 30 days, cancel anytime. And really the membership we are featuring on that calculator page is our auto trader. This is everything that's in the trader. So this replaces that membership. Again, it's also free and cancel anytime. But the big addition is you connect your exchange to it and it will trade automatically based on the machine learning trade alerts. So that is what I have. Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk soon.